You're all good? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Mr. E1. Ooh! <laughs> have like corkscrew dicks, you know? That's yeah. what I heard. And they say their uh, vaginas are also co corkscrew, but they're in a different direction, like the opposite direction, right? Mm -hmm. That must feel fucking crazy as hell, right? No wonder why they're, no wonder why they're like, quack! <laughs> yeah. In 1993, uh, Brenna Bobbitt, I don't know if you remember her, but uh, she came famous for chopping off her husband's dick, right? Oh. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you know this, but her famous movie was Alice in Wonderland growing up. So yeah, you might as well get guessed it. Off with his head. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, you know, when I was 11, uh, my best friend, uh, he was this kid, uh, James Malden, this white kid from Texas. Or he just moved in from Texas. And then uh, one day, I went over there and he shot some other kid, you know? He like Donald Trumped him, basically, you know, with a fucking 357 <laughs> uh, hollow point, right? Mm. Like they were just playing with their uh, his dad's gun and it just went off, you know. The bullet like went into his chin right here and it went out like right here, you know. But like it was a hollow point, right? Three fifty seven. If it would caught the bone, you know, it would blow his fucking head open, right? So my buddy, you know, so just some white kid from Texas just moved in. He came one inch away from like, fucking killing some kid and spending the rest of his life getting a slap on the wrist. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's white. What white kid yeah, cause uh, this was like eighty nine. You know, nothing even happened to him, right? He shot some other kid, and they didn't even take the gun away. Wow. That's white privilege for him. Right? <laughs> 80s were awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever had Korean barbecue. Uh, it is quite a unique experience, you know? Mm -hmm. That uh, you got that. You pay to cook your own meat, you know? <laughs> That's weird, right? That's funny. And if you pay extra, you can wash your own dishes and take out the trash. <laughs> Yeah, I heard a theory that uh, if Jesus were alive today, he'd be like a Navy SEAL or something, you know? Mm. And, uh, you know, I believe whatever that theory has some merit, you know? Because I grew up, I saw a group of Navy SEALs once. Yeah, like right when I saw them, they were like all together with their big giant uh, Navy SEAL patches. I was like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> okay, those are all my new jokes. I'll go back to those ones. Yeah, they all look pretty good, that's good. <clears throat> Yeah, I went to Mount Baldy last week. It was cool, you know? I learned that uh, it wasn't always called Mount Baldy. Back when the mountain was a lot younger and more hopeful, it was known as Mount No Game. <laughs> yeah, you ever play doctor when you were kids? And when I was in kindergarten, I was playing doctor with one of my classmates. And it was all fun until she started playing proctologist. <laughs> As one guy told me that if, uh, if you scratch your head, that's what makes you go bald, you know? But uh, I don't think so, because my balls are still hairy as hell. <laughs> yeah, one of my buddies, white dude, you know, he's like super duper white. I think he's like part albino or something. Yeah, he's so white when he comes to my house, all my plants start growing in his direction. <laughs> you know, whenever I have sex, you know, I almost never last as long as I'd like to, you know. Yeah, I'm always like, come on, penis, hang in there. It's always like, Nah, screw this. Blech. <laughs> yeah, I used to go to the water parks, you know, every Sunday or summer. But then uh, one summer I stopped going because I had a fairly traumatic experience. Yeah, I was at Raging Water so when I was 16. And uh, I was on the stairs, right, waiting to whatever, on these stairs to go on this water slide. And I look up, and then the girl in front of me, she's about the same age as me. But her, like, boobs are, like, right in my face, you know? I'm like, oh, you know, it's kind of cold and windy, right? So her nipples are all popping out and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. So I like turn. But then this girl here, now her face is like all in my junk, you know? And I already got like a partial wind going on, right? But then she like yawns, you know? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, right? And I fucking got a big old boner, right? So I'm like, oh shit, you know, I gotta get out of there. And so like, I just ran up the stairs. And then uh, apparently it's pretty common in Raging Waters because the lifeguard was like, come on, come on, just go, just go, you know? So I jumped on the sled, I got out of there, and I was like, damn, man, they need to change the name of this place. And they should call them Raging Boners. <laughs> Why didn't the oyster share his food? We <clears throat> shellfish. <laughs> yeah, you know this sailor, uh, this, uh, he gets hired on this boat, right? And so they're out at sea for about six months. And then he's talking to his buddy, he's like, hey, uh, when are we going to go back to the port? You know, like, I'm getting kind of horny out here. He's like, oh no, we're not going back in the port for another six months. He's like, what? You know, I can't wait that long. 
like, well, have you tried the barrel? You know, it's like, no, what's that? So he takes him to this room, there's a barrel there, and there's a hole in the barrel. He's like, well, there you go. And so he's like, all right, so he tries it, he's like, fucking the barrel. And it, work, it works really well, you know? And he's talking to his buddy, he's like, man, that was awesome, you know? I'm gonna use that barrel every day. He's like, well, every day but Sunday, right? He's like, oh, you can't use it on Sunday? He's like, well, you can, but Sunday's your day in the barrels. <laughs> We call a guy that can make a business suit real fast. Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Pride Month needs a mascot, you know? And I got the perfect one, the Flamingo. Right? They have like pink feathers and they love to dance. And they're like a non predatory, peaceful type of bird, you know? You only eat like little brine shrimp and algae and stuff. Like, nobody gives a fuck damn about brine shrimp. And uh, you know what a group of flamingos is called? Uh, they're not called a flock. No, they're called a flamboyance. <laughs> How can you say it, right? Yeah, it's like all the best things are probably like all wrapped up in the one animal and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Even the name Flamingo is Flaming O. Mm -hmm. yeah, flaming O? That's a burning butthole. <laughs> And you know, a lot of, usually when a guy like brags about how big his dick is, it's usually the opposite, right? It's usually like really small. Yeah, I was talking to this guy the other day. He was like, "Oh man, my dick's so big, I'm hung like a horse." I was like, Phew. "Yeah, like a seahorse." <laughs> yeah, I think Shaquille O'Neal is like the happiest man on earth. You know? Yeah, he's like always oh, so jolly. Everyone just loves him, right? I think because he's never been bullied. Yeah, like how are you gonna mess with someone who's so tall that his crotch is in your face, right? <laughs> It's like, hey, Shaq, give me your lunch money. Never mind. <laughs> hey, you know that whole thing, like, if you're a lady and you're alone in the woods, would you rather run into a bear or some strange man? And uh, a lot of women are choosing the bear, right? But I think that's just ignorance of bear knowledge. Because yeah, I met a bear alone in the woods once. Yeah, he fucked the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, scientists, for the first time this past year, uh, Whatever, so, ah, whatever, two male humpback whales having sex. Ah, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, Warner Brothers are gonna make a movie about them. Yeah, they're called Humpback Mountain. <laughs> oh, reported, that was the word, reported. Like, yeah. yeah, it's weird how language changes over time, right? Like nowadays, if a guy came up to me and told me he was gonna blow my brains out, I wouldn't know whether to run away or pull my pants down. <laughs> I was watching this Bigfoot show the other day and it struck me as how dedicated these Bigfoot hunters were. Yeah, they're so devoted to something that might not even be ah. real. Like comedians in their careers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had sex with all different types of women, like white, black, Asian, Hispanic. In my opinion, Asian women give the best blowjobs. If any of you ladies like to prove me wrong, you can meet me in the bathroom after my set. <laughs> What did the Australian chess player say to the waiter? Checkmate. <laughs> yeah, a couple months ago, uh, North Korea sent over 200 balloons over to South Korea. They were like loaded with like garbage and excrement. But that statement's not exactly accurate. Because those balloons, they weren't filled with shitty trash. No, they're packed with Dane Cook's jokes. <laughs> yeah, this new disorder going around called the Usher Syndrome. Yeah, it makes you go blind and deaf. It's pretty serious, right? You know, because I always thought when you got Usher Syndrome, it just made you go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a nice day, so I made first cavalry baby, first cavalry division for him in Texas. Thank you. That's cool, you know. It's weird being the only Asian person, though. Yeah, every day, people are just looking at me like, are we supposed to shoot this guy? <laughs> All right, what's well, the last joke? Yeah, you know, comedians always tell you two things, you know? They always tell you when they just get booked on a show. They always tell you when they just had sex. That's a bit juvenile, right? Like myself, I haven't been booked on a show in over a month. But I did get laid last week, so... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, we're going to do one of them, man. Yeah! 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 Ye